Today we're in my office where I'm going to use the oh so delicious Whataburger to explain the difference between arteries and veins. Okay, so here we have a vein and an artery. And so remember that veins and arteries are tube-like structures that transport blood throughout the body. And whenever we have a tube-like structure, we'll have a space in the middle. And that space is called the lumen. And that's something I'll draw your attention to here in just a minute. But remember the outer part, which would be the onion ring, is the actual vessel. The inner part, which is the space, is the lumen. I actually also like to use donuts as an example. Um, the lumen in that example would be the donut hole. So let's talk about these colors here um, and what they represent. Each vessel is actually gonna be made up of three layers. And this is a pattern we see frequently within the body. We'll have three different layers. From deepest to most superficial, or innermost to outermost, we have the tunica intima, the tunica media, and the tunica externa. And see we have the same thing up here with the vein. So what are some observations you can make about the differences between an artery and a vein other than the fact that they're labeled? Well, one is that we have different thicknesses of these tunics. And a tunic is just a fancy way of saying layer. So looking at this, what would you say is the big difference between the artery and vein in terms of the tunics? Well, hopefully you're saying this yellow layer, the middle layer, the tunica media, is definitely a lot thicker in the artery, and you would be correct. What other observations can we make? Well, we can also look at the lumen, this space here. Which vessel has a larger diameter lumen? Well, of course, that would be the vein. Okay, so form follows function. We just talked about the form. Let's talk about the function. Why does an artery have a thicker tunica media? Why does the vein have a larger diameter lumen? Well, let's go over what makes up these tunics. The tunica intima is actually made up of simple squamous epithelium. And remember, that's uh, simple means one layer, squamous means flat and scaly, and that may, basically makes the endothelium, which is continuous with the endocardium of the heart wall, which is really interesting to think about. And that makes sense when you think about that left ventricle and how it continues onward up into the aorta. That tissue, we imagine, would be continuous. Then in the middle, we have this tunica media. The tunica media is actually made of smooth muscle. So when we think of comparing the vein to the artery, we could also say that the artery has more muscle. This muscle is important because this is what um, causes vasoconstriction, which is the tightening of a vessel or when that lumen becomes smaller, and then vasodilation is when it becomes bigger. Form follows function. So why does it make sense that um, a systemic artery especially would have a thicker tunica media? Well, let's go back to our knowledge about blood pressure. Which two of these vessels is going to have higher pressure? This artery, because the systemic arteries are delivering oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. So it makes sense then that we would, want, we would want more muscle to maintain that higher pressure. The veins are essentially a means to an end. They're extremely important, but they're essentially uh, kind of just a pathway to bring deoxygenated blood 
back to the heart within the systemic circulation. Lastly, we have this tunica externa. So the way that you can remember that is externa, kind of, so kind of sounds like external, so it's the outermost layer. And this is going to have um, some elastic and collagenous fibers. And this is what attaches the blood vessel to um, other tissues. The uh, tunica externa in the vein is actually thicker than the tunica externa in the artery. So when we're talking about thickness and thinness of tunics, it is important that we're very specific because the tunica media in the artery is much thicker than the tunica media in the vein, but the tunica externa in the vein is thicker than the tunica externa in the artery. So why is it important to know the differences between a systemic artery and, and a systemic vein? Well, for clinical purposes, sometimes it might be um, beneficial to use ultrasound guidance to establish IV access. And you can use, well, it's not very scientific, but I call it the squish test. Um, and it's when you take the transducer and you literally squish on the patient's skin to see how these vessels react to that pressure a vein is more likely to collapse because it has a thinner tunica media, whereas an artery is more likely to resist because it has a thicker tunica media and that muscle resists the pressure that's being applied to it. Also, in some arteries, you can actually see a pulse and we call that pulsatile. So hopefully that gives you a reason to learn the tunics, to understand the differences between an artery and a vein. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram page at The Anatomy Gal. See you next time.